Hello, and welcome to the Pickles and Posies Art and Design YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how I turn this IKEA desk into a convenient learning space for my distance learner. It has an epoxy resin top, and I added book storage on the side. This was a fairly large project using a lot of different supplies and techniques. I'm going to do my best to tell you what I'm using, but I'll definitely add links in the description. So first I started off with five different shades of green vinyl. In total, I used the equivalent of six 12 by 12 sheets of vinyl. You'll see I chose three solid colors and two with texture. I wanted the top to have a little pop to it and my kiddo loves Minecraft and also loves rainbows and picked out the green holographic vinyl. I started by cutting about 78 squares. I only needed 70, but I wanted to have a few extra for mistakes. I marked my ruler to make cutting faster and each square was about two inches and three quarters. I saved this little piece at the end. I'm glad I did because I did end up needing it. Just peel and stick. I wish I would have added guidelines when I began applying my squares. They didn't always line up and you'll see some areas where I tried to compensate but you can't really tell in the end result. And I used an exacto knife just to trim around the cord hole thingy. So here, I'm sealing the edges with an extremely light coat of epoxy. I'm just taking my finger and running a small amount where the squares meet. If any of the squares aren't fully stuck down, and then I drown this thing in epoxy, the vinyl will lift and start to float. I want to make absolutely sure that doesn't happen, so essentially I'm sealing the edges and letting that cure before I add my first thicker layer of epoxy. I let that cure overnight. I used painter's tape around the edges of my desk and inside the cord port. I mixed up eight total ounces of epoxy and poured it onto my leveled desk surface. I made it work, but this was not enough epoxy to cover this surface completely. 12 to 16 ounces would have been much better. 
I did end up doing a second coat with another eight total ounces and that didn't make anything better, but I rolled with it. I use a large wooden stick to spread it around and make sure it spreads to the edges and gets into the corners. I use a handheld butane torch to remove any air bubbles. I let the second coat cure for 24 hours and went in with the sandpaper. You'll be able to see the imperfections as I sand. I was able to remove most of them this way. I wear my respirator when I sand as well. There's lots of epoxy dust flying around. I have my fan on full blast, but it's best to be safe. I didn't sand the edges completely down. I left a very small lip to act as a barrier when I pour the final coat. Wet paper towel to remove the dust. Clean it a couple of times with alcohol. So I found these adhesive rulers on Amazon. They're meant for like workshops and boats. It has both inches and centimeter and it sticks right down to the epoxy. I use my thumb or a wooden stick to help tack the ruler down as I go to avoid air bubbles. I did get a few bubbles near the end and I'll show you how to get rid of those. You'll also see me smoothing down the edges quite a bit.
To remove any air bubbles, I use the tip of a razor blade to puncture the vinyl slightly and smooth the area down with my finger or my wooden stick. I laminated three styles of paper, solid, wide rolled, and primary. If you're not a laminar like me, you can also go to any office supply store and they will laminate for you. I cut out these one and a half inch strips of vinyl from one of my rolls to serve as a border and background for the alphabet I printed on my Cricut. I have the strips here already on my transfer paper. They're white, so it's hard to see at the moment. And here are my papers, and I left a small border of lamination to make sure the epoxy doesn't seep in. Please click here to join me for part two. I'll show you how I put on the finishing touches. But before you do, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more epoxy desk and tabletops.